Hello, welcome back to Frogboy X1 Gaming. I'm Andrew, and today we're looking at a game called Frontier Hunter. Now, this is a Metroidvania type game that does have some 3D, 3D cutscenes, a um, little bit of a uh, you know like back and forth talking there's two protagonists that you play with at the same time you play with uh, Ezra and Sierra here and uh, you could switch between either one of these on the fly whenever you want like you could switch back and forth except for times when you are essentially only going to be using just the one character at a time uh, that, that's mapped to your right analog stick so so it's pretty like it like it is pretty cool both of them have their strengths and weaknesses um ezra here the the blonde she is more of a melee um fighter she has like the swords the weapons stuff like that uh sierra is more um ranged combat focused for the most part but she does engage in hand-to-hand -hand combat as well now the one thing i really really want to point out is the amazing visuals that this game has so as you can see the character models are cell shaded but then the world environment looks looks a little bit different um definitely got a lot of freaking polish a lot of uh, a lot of high quality texture the uh, the enemies they're pretty much this i i feel like they're 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 also different from the uh from the anime you can kind of tell check this out okay I want you to see this part right here. Like, let me let me fight this dude real quick, um, and then I want you to look at the water physics, the water physics as as you run run across. Like this kind of stuff is just so cool. You've got, um, and and then you'll see like the anime, how they put the anime in here. Uh, back to that point, I I really like the the way that they have like like the attention to detail and some of the stuffs the stuff that they've put into this it it just it just really is fun now exploration in this game is incredible yes there are walls there are false walls that you'll be able to find in here after this this ever all of this footage is going to be from like the first couple of hours of play i want you to know that and i do have to give a shout out to the developers for providing review code for this game um i was i was pretty happy when when i when i uh when I asked for the code and, and, I, and I was given to it like pretty quickly. This, I believe this game launches on December 15th. So you'll be able to, you'll be able to get in here. Um, I don't think it's gonna be like super, super expensive, but I, I, this is probably one of the better quality ones I've seen lately. Now, a while back, I bought um, Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. And this one right here, like this one here has way better looking visuals. To be to be completely honest now i'm a big fan of metroidvania games i really love them my favorite all-time game is castlevania symphony of the night like i freaking love that game and this is exactly the way that i've wanted things to go for for these 2d side scrolling metroidvania games i want them to 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 start to build like a like a triple a visual experience and this one here is pretty dang close like this is this is getting really nice i want to see him continue to to like really focus in world design and stuff character character modeling so this right here i do like the fact that that the i i do like the cell shaded characters but i would like eventually for for these games to to become more of a um more more realistic looking with the character design and everything else because I really like this. Now, let, let me let me talk about Ezra here for a minute. Her combat, like like it looks like I'm just doing like a like a regular attack. No, there are actual like button prompts that you can use to. Uh, this is just like kind of like a, the inventory, but there are button prompts that you can use to chain together to chain together combos. You can have two weapons at the same time attached to each button. Like this is my katana. My katana is attached is, is is to my uh, triangle button, and my uh, I think I think right here during this part I still have the rapier, but then I get a spear, and it and it just it chains together so well. It's so fun to pull off these combat. You can do like the down 
um, d down to forward and then the and then the attack button and it'll pull off this like really freaking cool move that that uh that's that's kind of like like it's cool trust me like once you I, i'm still trying to get used to like the how to how to build all these combos out and, and and build that out but once once you learn like that move right there like that's an actual like street fighter button combo type deal you know what i mean like you you it really it really meshes that type of combat into a 2d side-scrolling metroidvania game to where you kind of feel like you're you're playing a fighting game at the same time uh but the uh the way the way it is and, and if you're using like if you have two weapons like say like say i'll have my spear and then i'll have my sword or i'll have the rapier and then the sword i could start the combo with one of them and then i can go right into um right into other moves by by while while using that you can use both both of them basically at the same time you just use one to start a combo and then finish it off with the other weapon that's pretty cool like i i do like that exploration in this game um i want to i want to talk on that you know like the level up systems kind of like what you would see from castlevania like this game here stole my heart pretty quickly now this right here i want to show you this like right here i couldn't i couldn't figure out how to get into this and then it kind of gave me the little prompt on the bottom and i'm like oh wait a minute so there's there's a little bit that i want to talk about in this section for, so it's going to be kind of cool so you go down to your magic core and then on your weapons You'll be able to slot right over here on the right side. Well, now it's in the center. You'll have your insert magic core. As you can see, there's already something up there. But that explosive fruit, all these monsters that I've fought in, you can, I believe you can use their stuff. That you After you beat them or fight them, you can gain that power. So is what I'm going to do, like you'll, you'll see here in just a second. Like I can't get the fruit in there. So now I go down to my, my, uh, my white rose and then I can... It, Put that fruit in that slot so then i had to get out and i was like wait a minute how do i how do i do it uh you just have to select the um you just have to select the the thing that you want to use in the menu so it'll be attached to that button but then uh, dang it i wish i would have wish i would have been a little bit faster sorry about this guys but you got a dodge button that's pretty freaking cool sorry i i i, I had a whole bunch of footage and i just did everything I, I condensed it down so go back come on go back to the oh yeah so right here we got the light area now I go to the fire bullet and then you can shoot those so then that opens up pathways in this game so that you can progress farther like true metroidvania and, and I'm so excited about this I'm so excited about this game like I, I didn't even want to stop playing to do this first impressions like this is you know I, I wanted to to get it done but I was just I was recording so much footage and and I was like, man, if I don't make a first impressions video like quickly, I am not going to be able to get one out in time to, to be able to. Because I want to just sit back and focus on, on playing this game. You know, over the weekend, I've been working some overtime and I want to be able to get this out. But my freaking gosh, man, this is exactly, exactly the direction I want to see these Metroidvanias go in. It, it's exactly what I want, want them to see. You see these beautiful vistas and, and this beautiful these beautiful visuals like that to me is incredible I, I want them to continuously push the visual boundaries like triple a games do i want to see more of that boom look at that break the wall so it's it's cool man there's a lot of stuff in here that like you you'll you'll want to check and it's got me uh, it's got me on my toes like i'm like oh boy this is so great uh this is this is like the this is like another area you go to kind of underground a little bit um, enemies start to get a little bit harder to fight down here more they're they're more uh, what, what's it called they're they're a lot more uh, they're a lot more aggressive as you start getting as you start getting through the game boss fights I fought two bosses already boss fights are they they're 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 definitely a lot a lot harder than, than what I remember like some of the other boss fights being in a metroidvania they you really do have to uh, you really do have to kind of get good and time the time the button prompts and stuff i didn't put any boss footage in here because i want you to be able to figure that out on your own and, and see that on your own i don't really want to spoil a whole bunch of this game but i don't know how else to to get you excited about this game without showing you some of this stuff now i have my my spear now so you see this move right here where i can jump up on the on the spear 
that is so cool like you can tie in those combos that's the pro i think that was the i think that's like a big selling point for this game because the the melee combat you can chain together and be able to pull out different types of moves that that really like the, it really does make the combat in here fun it really does it really does intensify the, the combat for this game like i really love it i love the visuals of this game like i'm 100 sold i'm 100 sold on this game and uh i'm pretty sure it's only gonna keep getting better and better because i'm still pretty low level i mean look at me i'm only level 12 and i'm and i'm going through this and i'm getting a lot freaking stronger and like the, the move the combo moves and stuff it just it feels so cool i don't like these guys with the shield man they, they got like that uh <laughs> they got that repost ability that you have in in uh <laughs> in elden ring man those guys uh, you'll have the save spots that you can go run to and, and do saves. You can you can buy stuff. You can buy potions. There is a crafting system in this game. Oh man, see this is where they start getting way violent. Those praying mantis looking things, man. They they've got some range on them. But then you pull out old girl, and uh, this here is Sierra. Now I'm gonna show you her move set. Like hers, is she's got this rocket cannon thing. Like I said, she's more melee. Like she she starts off you have like a like a regular gun. But then I bought this one, and now it's now it's like a rocket launcher. You'll see the little yellow dots under her um, under her blue bar. That's how much ammo she got. It does recharge automatically. So when you get into a fight and stuff, you'll you'll want to you'll want to kind of time things out to where to where you can to where you can um, to where you'll be able to to get those to recharge. But she also does the the melee combat, hand to hand combat, from what I've seen. So. I'm pretty sure both both things are going to be upgradable. I'm, per, I'm I, like I almost guarantee that you'll be able to upgrade all of that stuff too. Just playing around with this for the last few hours, I, I was like, my gosh, man, this is so cool. Oh, I, I like her melee, but my gosh, man, getting up close on those those guys, they hit so freaking hard. They, it it's kind of kind of like, oh man, these guys right here, they don't really do anything. Like they, they might stick their tongue out at you. <laughs> But you can collect their meat and stuff, which is which is pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I, I love I love these kind of games, man. I really I really love the exploration of Metroidvania. I, I do. I I love playing these games. I love finding things. I love running around. Uh, the, the the you know Ori and the Will of the Wisps is another good one. This one right here just really really gives me. The, exactly what i'm looking for i i do actually so far i like this one a lot more than i like bloodstained ritual of the night like this one is really cool it's got everything that needs to be there to to really give you that uh to really stress you out and stuff like i like that getting to these boss fights man and being stressed out on on how to beat them and how and having to learn move sets and stuff is pretty cool this is the teleportation device teleportation device i can teleport uh, back and forth, which is pretty cool. I definitely like that. I've been playing, I've been playing now for, you know, like I said, a couple of hours. I wanted to get this first impressions video out so that you can, uh, so that you can see what this game really has to offer and what it has, and and like what it's built with. I'm running this at maximum settings on my PC, and I'm not getting any frame t frame drops. I'm not getting any. I'm not getting any like weird stutters or slowdown or anything like this feels extremely polished extremely extremely polished like i said you can you can um uh you can make different foods and stuff and then you'll you'll use those and it will uh, intensify your your abilities and stuff like this is just so cool man like as you can see i'm starting to get a little bit better at the combat down through here do you just see these backdrops they're so freaking beautiful so beautiful I, I really just want to to like I, I just really want to get back to playing and keep playing I like um, I like Sierra too she's pretty fun I do I, I'm not gonna lie I do use um, Ezra a lot more than than her but you know as as you can see she's got like the the, the uh, uh, hand to hand combat which is pretty cool too slide dodge and all of that stuff man this this is such a fun freaking game man when i started playing this like you'll start off kind of in a ship i'm i brought you down to i i didn't i didn't show you any of the ship in here 
Uh, I was recording a video on that at first, and I was like, you know what? No, no, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get in here and I'm gonna play a bunch of this. This here I thought was gonna be a boss fight. <laughs> Actually, I think this, yeah, this is the way to the boss fight. But then I go back to another way, and it was like, what the heck? So I don't show you much of this part right here. Like this is, this is a past that point right there. Spoiler. So I didn't do any of that. Went back and did some other stuff first but my gosh man i love this game i think it's great i think that if you're into metroidvania and you want something that, that's gonna that's gonna feel good look good play nice and and like really have everything all the ingredients to make it great like this is pretty good but at the same time it does run the risk of being exactly just that when it when it comes to the rest of it can't guarantee the length of the game yet but I'm going to continue playing it for the rest of the day and then put out another video later tonight kind of talking about how how I feel and you know how far I've gotten and, and, and some of the other stuff that, that goes into it because I got a lot of work this week so I won't be able to like really focus focus on this game any more than what I am able to do today so Frontier Hunter is probably like my new like yeah playing this game is so cool <laughs> this is my new uh my new my new i, I this is my new uh <laughs> this is my new passion in in metroidvania for a little while i'll be playing this game a lot um <laughs> hopefully i can get another video out tonight for you guys so, so that you guys can see get a little bit further into the game and and uh and let you know how i feel even more so if you like this content don't forget to like and subscribe I will see you in the next one, and thank you for watching. I'm going to go ahead and let you kind of watch a little bit more of this, though. Because these guys right here, gosh, this is just... I wanted to get some of this combat in there for you guys so you can kind of really see exactly what you're going to get and be able to... Yeah. All right. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next one.